Hello students, welcome to Adi Chemistry Online Coaching. I am Aditya Vardhan from Warangal. Today we will be discussing an important concept known as the screening effect, also referred to as the shielding effect. Before jumping into this topic, let us begin with an interactive exercise that will help you in understanding the underlying concept. Imagine a magnet and an iron object like a needle and you know that when we place the needle at a certain distance the magnet will attract the needle. Now place a thick cardboard between them. What do you think will happen? Whether the force of attraction exerted by the magnet on the iron object will decrease or increase. Since the magnet cannot attract the needle effectively when placed at the same distance, it is quite evident that the force of attraction will decrease. Ok now, let us shift our focus to an electron revolving in an outer orbit. You know that there exists an attractive force between the nucleus and the electron just like the magnet and the iron object. Now let us introduce an inner electron between the nucleus and the outer electron. What do you expect to happen now? It becomes evident that the force of attraction between the nucleus and the outer electron decreases as the inner electron acts as a wall or a screen between them. In a way the inner electrons absorb a portion of the nuclear force. Additionally, there is repulsion between the inner and outer electrons. The cumulative result is a reduction in the effective nuclear attraction over the outer electron. And this phenomenon is commonly referred to as the screening or shielding effect. To define it precisely, the screening effect or the shielding effect is the reduction in nuclear attraction experienced by the outer electrons due to the presence of inner electrons. The screening capacity of inner electrons depends on the type of orbital they belong to. The orbitals that are less spread out or less diffused in space have a greater capacity to shield the nuclear force of attraction. For example, the s orbitals are less spread out in space when compared to the p orbitals. Therefore, the screening capacity of s orbitals is greater than that of p orbitals which in turn can screen effectively than the d orbitals. The orbitals with the least screening ability are the f orbitals as they are more diffused in space. Thus, the shielding capacity diminishes from s orbital to the f orbital as shown. Now let us examine the consequences. We know that the nuclear attraction decreases with the increase in the shielding effect. As a result, the atomic radius increases with an increase in the screening capacity of the inner electrons. This is because the outer electron now experiences a less nuclear force of attraction. However, the ionization energy decreases with an increase in the screening capacity. It is easier to remove the outer electron when it is shielded from the nuclear attraction. Thus, greater the screening, the lesser the ionization energy. The best example is lanthanoid contraction. In case of lanthanides, which are F block elements, the inner F orbitals have the poor shielding capacity. Therefore, the nuclear attraction experienced by the outer electron will be greater. 
as a result there is a contraction in the atomic size as we move from the left to right in the f block elements especially in case of lanthanoids now test your understanding you have to state whether the following statement is true or false the statement is the atomic radius decreases with increase in the screening effect of inner electrons your time starts now it is a false statement because the screening effect results in reduction of nuclear attraction hence the size of atom increases and this is another statement the lanthanoid contraction is observed because of greater shielding capacity of f orbitals your time starts now again a false statement the f orbitals have poor ability to screen the nuclear attraction as they are more diffused in the space visit adhikemistry.com for more information on this topic or search for adhikemistry activation energy you can also find links to worksheets and other study material in the description section if you find it difficult to reach them don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section or drop an email to adikemadi@gmail.com okay all the best don't forget to like share and subscribe